What do you say? You want some belly rubbing? You want some belly rubbing? What is it? A camera? It's a camera? Let me see some belly rubbing. Let me see some belly rubbing. So I'm hungry. I don't want no damn belly rubbing. Episode of Sparky Belt. Great excitement. <laughs> hey, uh, today we are going to be building a livestock scale. Kind of crazy out of the norm. One of my kids is in FFA and he's raising a pig. They want us to weigh these things, uh, they say every two weeks, every week. Uh, the school open, offers an open barn so we could take it up there and weigh it. But that means I got to load this thing up all, all the time. And I don't want to do that. So I went on Amazon or eBay. I went on eBay and I ordered a scale kit. So this is from ANA Scales and it is a 20,000 pound, 20,000 pound livestock scale. So it comes with all the goodies. It comes with four of your scale feet. It comes with a little tab that you can weld onto your platform and then these bolt to it. You've got your box that all those scales go to and then somewhere in here is a digital readout, I think. I haven't even opened it yet, you so hope. I don't know. <laughs> right? I'm gonna run it Bluetooth through an app. Now, yeah, so here's our power supply bracketry for the scale readout and then the digital scale itself. So we're gonna be using some inch and a half square tubing that we built our deer blind build with. Uh, we're gonna be cutting that up, like I said, 30 inches by four foot long will be our platform. We're gonna build that out, plate it with some 16 gauge sheet steel that we got on top. And then for the side walls, it's gonna be probably about 30 to 36 inches high. I haven't, so you're gonna kind of mock it up and see how it fits. Uh, we're gonna make the outer frame then we're gonna make some, uh, use some cattle panel. I think we're gonna weld some cattle panel in there instead of fencing it out. So we're gonna do that. It'll have the bifold doors on either end of it. And then we will weld our scale tab to the bottom and then bolt the scale feet onto it. So we're gonna go grab some tubing and we're gonna get started cutting. Okay, so I got the uh, plate cut out on a plasma cutter. Plasma cutter is like a quarter inch short of cutting all the way across, so we just kind of nipped it off there. But we got our plate cut out, I got our tubing cut out. I'm gonna set the tubing up here, and uh, that way I can use the plate to square up the tubing, get it all tacked together, then we'll get it welded up. Platform will be done. And then we can go ahead and mount the scales on the bottom of the platform and test that out before we move on to making our side walls and doors.
There's a lot of work in this little fucker. Who does this? People that make three dollars an hour. Or less. Yeah, less. All right, so I got everything welded up on the platform side. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt on the scale feet and flip this thing over just for a test fit, just to see how it fits. Uh, sorry, my kid's honking in the background. Uh, I don't know what you guys got to see, but it was just a bunch of welding. GoPro died again, right in the middle of it. So we're working on getting some new cameras for you guys and for us. But like I said, now we're gonna start bolting these feet on. So let me get those laid out. One side. Looks like it's got adjustable feet on there too. You want to try and put these on a surface as level as possible. I've seen a lot of people using them though. Uh, even just on blocks or just a beam. They'll put a couple beams down and set this across. So there's nothing saying that it's got to be indoors or any of that. you guys can see I am going to man y'all didn't get to see much of that at all that's my fault all right doesn't matter so the feet are welded on not welded on bolted on and we're going to yeah that's good take and start wiring this in just temporary sorry for the boring part and cue the music in time lapse. On the ground, huh? Okay, it's not terrible. Now if I had a le level spot on my concrete, it would be a-okay. Yeah, right. Lucky me, I just happen to have some weights. What? Nothing. Okay. <clears throat> so watch your fingers. Yeah, that's Stop, baby. All right, so I've got the platform built, got the feet bolted on. I still got to tear it back down so I can, so I can uh, wire wheel it and paint it and all that good stuff. But I wanted to test the scale. We tested the scale and it works. I'm not gonna show you that because uh, some of us are hefty in here. There's no need to go into all that. So we're gonna take these, uh, we're gonna leave it like this actually. I'm going to build the side rails and the doors once I get that done, it's all fit up nice. We'll test it one more time, make sure everything works. I'll have to recalibrate the scale because of all that extra weight. But what I'll do is uh, I'm going to get everything fit, tear it down, get it painted, put it back together, and then rescale it just that one time. So, but that's it. It's late. I'm done for the day. It's hot. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're back for day 47 of our pig pen adventures. Uh, we're gonna be working on our frame for the cage today. So we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday or 10 seconds ago in the video. I'm going to cut and weld. Cut and weld. So I'm gonna start with this piece. We're gonna grab more tubing and keep cutting and welding. 
and welding. And cutting. And welding. There we go. Might help if I turn the plasma cutter on. Here we go. Kind of soaked everything in vinegar just to get some of the mill scale off uh anthony's cleaning it all up right now i'll take you outside to show you some of that we got these are going to be our top two braces and they'll once the uh side walls are in the side walls will bolt down to this and then the doors will bolt to the side walls and those two braces will bolt across the top of the side walls and the whole purpose of this is to try and make it where it will all unbolt and kind of flat pack down like this that way, I mean, you could honestly take this thing and take it apart and put it in your car if you needed to. Um, so we're trying to keep it from being too bulky if it needs to be compressed down. So Anthony's grabbing some more pieces for the door, the doors right now. I'm gonna take you outside to show you what he's got going on out there and then we'll get to do some more welding. He's got like 43 and a half of those pieces to do. He's already got those. Like I said, we soaked them in vinegar just to try and get all some of the mill scale off. So he's taking the grinder, right? Yeah. And just knocking knocking everything off and then taking some lacquer thinner and wiping them down just to clean them up before we weld them. Yep. Yep. And as always here at Sparky Built, we're being super safe. Look at that mask. He looks like Bane. Super safe. Can you talk like Bane? Glasses. Yeah, safety glasses. They're there. <laughs> Invisible. Right there. You talk like Bane. You look like Bane. Look like what? Bane from Batman. Oh. You talk like him? No. I don't know. <laughs> I tried. I tried, guys. All right, we're going back out, back inside. The shop is AC, and the outside is not. All right, we're gonna start on the doors. Only day that I'm gonna bring a welding table that's actually kind of squared up. Okay, so I got the doors finished up. I'm gonna start working on the sides, the side panels now. Um, I don't have a big welding table and it's actually not very freaking flat. So the best thing I can do is we're gonna go through this one piece at a time and kind of tack it together, check and make sure it's square and pretty straight. And then once I get all that done, I'll, I'll weld it up. So um, it's gonna be a lot of flipping and Tossing, just trying to work with the space that I have here though.
right, so we get it all welded up. Next thing we're gonna do is I gotta drill some holes in the center of these, both that one and this one. And then uh, I'm gonna drill the holes on these, then we're gonna mark it on the pan and we're gonna drill and tap. That way we, these can just be a 3 8 bolt here and here, there and there. We'll have two crossbars here and here that bolt these two pieces together. Once that's done, I can weld the doors, one onto this side, one onto that side. After that, all we have left is cattle panels. So, first thing I'm gonna do is pop this dude, this clamp off, and we're gonna set this down so I can mark these and drill them out. something to space this up about a half inch down here and then we're gonna set the doors on it and then we're gonna put the hinges on it get it tacked in place and then weld them out so um, yep Alright, so we got everything welded up. I gotta go pick up some cattle panel here in a little bit. I'm gonna get that, get that welded on the outside as a skin, and then it's time for paint. so excited I give her a lunch snack sometimes sorry but I have to give her water and she's looking at me and I don't give her a large snack just a small snack 
more feed. Yeah. Hey, Mama. Come on. Come on. Anthony, open the door. Come on. Yeah. Kill. Good girl. I did. Good girl. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hit, 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 hit. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Mama. That's the finish I know. Alright. So, we got it wrapped up. <laughs> we got the scale wrapped up and after uh, many failed attempts to weigh the pig because the pig has not been trained yet we're going to weigh this pig so no y'all can't see that whoa 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 whoa, whoa. alright so the scale works <laughs> scale works guys so that being said we have a working livestock scale we just don't have working livestock so that was a, another exciting, super exciting build. Super exciting. Cutting and welding and cutting and welding. All right. Anyways, so make sure you guys hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Anything else you want to add? Get out and build something. All right.